Welcome back to Elden Ring. Uh, we're here in the wasteland that is Kaled. Uh, in this episode, I actually made it back one bonfire. Uh, like, I just warped back from here to here. Because I want to hit up this statue. This map. There are two of them. I'm going to hit up the other one as well. But I want to just see sort of how the layout of the land is. Now, before we get started on that, I do want to, you know, quickly check out this ruin. If there's anything here that's sort of like worth my time. Aside from these flaming assholes. Do they ex Oh, that's why they were... See, I was wondering why they were dying in the previous episode, but that's... Because they explode. So yeah, I'm gonna take a... Holy shit. I'm gonna take a quick look around this area. See what's up. If there is nothing, we can move on. I'm gonna kind of assume that there is... Nothing here. Ooh. You can! You can do it! I was wondering. I was really wondering. Eat shit. Backstab that doll sim head. No, no, no. Okay, I am wrong. There is something here. Do they have a different weapon? I think they might do. Oh, man. That is so goofy. What the fuck? Nitrous? Is this Need for Speed most wanted? As I swear, like, the last Need for Speed I, like, actually played. This is... One of the craziest enemies, I think, ever in a Souls game. Just, like, the sheer... Goofiness of it. It's kind of incredible. I gotta give them credit. Oh man. Oh, they're gonna blow. Get the hell away from here. I kind of. There's. I'm gonna be honest, there's more of them than I was expecting, but if they keep exploding. Just like this, there's gonna be no problems. This area is absolutely insane. First of all, it feels like you're on another planet. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> we got a boss? Please don't be an earth tree. Oh, it's two of them. Okay. And one of them is naked. And they do a lot of damage. Yes, okay. I like copy and pasted bosses in the other Souls games too. Okay. Uh, what do we have here? Tiny Arena, check. Two bosses, check. Massive damage, check. Uh, this is gonna be fun. I can already tell. I'm like genuinely trying to figure out the sort of best approach here. Because they just... Like, the issue is that this is way too small of an arena for me to separate them. You know, like, the tactic of dealing with double bosses in Souls games is to get them set, but Jesus. That's not possible here. Like, look at the size of this arena and versus the size of the boss. I mean, they don't have a lot of HP, that's the thing, but fuck. Um, fuck. This is, this is, okay, I'm sorry, this is so fucking stupid. Um, like, 
Okay. And I'm dead. And you know, I'm fully aware that the best option would be for me to just ignore these fuckers. But... You guys know I'm stubborn. Uh, but, you know... This is clearly, like, this is so clearly two enemies that were designed to be challenging separately. Just thrown together into a tiny arena. Uh, that's why I'm sort of... Maybe a little bit more salty about this than I should be. Because, like, this clearly, again, like... Like, these are two bosses that are clearly meant to work separately like at least give me space here like i could i could do okay if they gave us f why why does that keep missing seriously i should just leave them i know i know i should just leave them but at this point it's personal Okay, I just noticed something that even though you can't summon outside for some reason, you can summon inside here. So, yeah, no qualms about it. This is insane damage. No qualms about it. I'm getting my wolves out here because... Yeah, fuck these guys. But you know what I wonder? It would be interesting during like the Fate playthrough. I wonder if you can heal Spirit Summons with your like... Like healing spells. Okay, I really need to... My wolf... Yes, come on. Okay. Okay, that was the key. You just need to summon. Yeah, I totally like didn't... Like, see that you can summon in here. I guess it's due to the... The nature of the tunnel before. It wouldn't work for the spirit summons. But it does work in this arena. Fuck. Yeah, finally. Uh, that was probably the shittiest thing in this game so far. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, that was neither fun nor well designed. I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh, cool. Oh, this is... I've heard about this thing. It's like a cannon, isn't it? Dalsim. Got the Dalsim head. Depicting the face of a fire giant. Okay. Cool. And how, how many souls did I get? Like 4,000? Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna get the hell out of here. So I was gonna say the last thing to figure out is this. There is sort of like a tunnel slash cliff. Chasm, I should say running down there and that's where I got from the Sea of Rio well. The question is, is the map location in that chasm or is it up on these cliffs? I think it's up on these cliffs. But we're gonna find out because I'm gonna... Why the hell do you have markers, right? Yeah, it's, it's above ground, I think. Oh shit. Oh, uh, there's a white one as well, like with the actual doggos. Whoa, what the shit was that? Like, suck you in with the attack. Okay, this is... Ha, <laughs> a friendly fire. T-Rex doggos. These guys are funny. Yes, please keep hitting each other. I think one of you got stunned, but no way am I gonna be able to... 
Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. It's difficult to fight them, honestly. Oh, man. Yeah, screw this. I am not fighting these things. Fuck that. Don't know what their aggro range is, but enemies don't really have, like, really huge aggro ranges in this game. Screw that. Man, they really... Grey... Grey Oz Dragon Barrow. Wait, didn't the thing say that you need to go to the Dragon Barrow? Pretty sure it did. Did, did it just jump across the chasm? I'm not sure. It almost looked like it did, the wolf, I mean. God, this area is really gross. Like, what the hell is all this? And it's bleeding? Bro. Get that shit checked out by a doctor, please. Does not look healthy. There we go, there we go. Map Dragon Barrow. Naisu. Naisu, Naisu, Naisu. Oh, this is actually a huge area. It's much larger than I thought. So. This place. Where the hell is it? This Is this a divine tower? Hold on. It, it straight up looks like one. I think it is. It's just this is not the entrance. It is the entrance. Unless... <laughs> Uh-oh. No, this is the entrance. Oh, grab onto the ledge. Idiot. God, don't you know anything about platforming? I think you need to use the horse here. And you need to horse jump. Like, you need to... Yeah, because that gives you a pretty big boost. Excellent. See? Told you this tactic would work. Of course they would try pushing me off. Whoa, you have a lot of HP. Unless you're getting bled, because then you die like a bitch. Okay, we're on we're on the divine tower. Please don't tell me this is like a platforming section. <laughs> I'm gonna Platforming is still not this game's strong suit, despite the addition of the jump button, believe me. This ain't no Metroid Prime, or... Jesus. This is sort of... a little bit nerve-wracking. I can push you off as well. And have you not die? See, what am I doing here? This is, they are gonna get us to platform up the tower. Unbelievable. Are we gonna get like a sink point at the top as well? That thing looks so cool. I mean, I like it, as in the concept is just... I don't ever trust Souls platforming, believe me. This can be... except in Sekiro. Sekiro is the... nice! That means if I get through this and there's no, like, trick, I can power up my... like, Renala's Great Rune, I think. So this leads back down. But I'm still, I'm a little bit suspicious because the Leornia one was like pulling all, all sorts of tricks. Still didn't get on the top of that, but whatever. That I don't mind too much. It's tightly blocked. Seriously? Oh yeah, you know why? Because you need to have the... 
I guess this isn't matched to Renala's because you need to have the like specific bosses, like Great Rune, right? It only opens then, I think. I think that's how it works. Well, whatever. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Oh, okay. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. It's just... Talk about a one-shot. That was just a straight-up one-shot. And you know, I know people have been sort of not screaming at me, but strongly suggesting that I level up my HP. Uh, is this why? Do I just not have enough HP? I've specifically focused on getting more HP. Uh, but this, like, so many things are one-shotting me, but again, on the other hand, I don't feel underpowered, you know. As aside from my, like, my HP. Like, aside from the fact that this dude from behind this pier literally took off half my life. I don't know, man. It's weird. Damn. That didn't break your guard? Fuck out of here. Yeah. Looks like there's some, like, shit here with this Divine Tower. Like, why is there a... Oh. That's why. So you might still be able to open this thing. But I'm not sure. Listen. This game is all about exploration, and that is... Oh, come on. I thought that was going to kill us. This really feels like, like I have no earthly idea where this could possibly lead. Aside from a gigantic golden rune. Golden rune 12, I mean, I'll take it. Is, is that it? Seems like there's more. But I don't think it's possible unless... 17k. And I don't have that shit that would allow me to survive, right? Or like keep my souls. Nah. You know what? I'm not risking it. I'm not risking it. I'm gonna... I, I think we're gonna have plenty of time to like explore this place this is almost a level so i'm happy with my 12 golden rune in fact now that i've used another one and got enough souls to level up i'm gonna put that shit into hp because apparently your boy just does not have enough hp okay i'm gonna check out this little shack up here because this one seems Sort of le irrelevant, but I don't know, bruh. Aside from these, like, fucking dogs. Man, if you thought regular dogs were annoying, wait until you meet these guys. See, if it's one on one, I can't believe they're. Oh, fucking. What is this damage? What is this damage? That took like nine tenths of my life. Yeah, like seriously, I I can't I can't actually fight these things. Uh, they deal way too much damage. Um, like I can't realistically fight f through four of these things when one attack deals like eight hundred damage to me. Okay, there's a merchant here, and. Of course, the Souls classic of them clipping through. 
Get back to your original place. Fuck off out of here. Alright, merchant, you better have some good shit for me. Their armor is super cool. Okay, what do you have? Dragon wound, wound grease. There it is. Sacrificial twig. I should get some of that. And he has my armor. Uh, ashes of war. Ritual pot. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm gonna get that. Yeah, let's get two of these. Cool. We'll have sort of like a backup. Just again for like really perilous situations. I mean, listen. Regarding this place, I think there is a reason they're literally throwing uh, sites of grace at us. Like, I've seen more sites of grace more like frequently in this area than anywhere else and it definitely appears like there's a reason for that oh there is a dragon here there's a dragon well let's test it out how strong is he oh shit does he not have There are two dragons, fuck. I was just about to comically comment on the fact that he doesn't have an HP bar. I was like, are you that much of a bitch? But no, there's another homie there. And actually he does have quite a bit of HP. See, I wouldn't mind, oh fuck. Come on, get back there. Seriously? That didn't count as a critical? Oh fuck, this is gonna take ages. Just killed my horse. It didn't kill me. Question is, is it possible to fight these things without the horse? Yeah, they're, these these are like shitty dragons. They don't have breath attacks. I can't fucking hit them either. Hmm. Maybe it is easier to fight them. Okay, did I get a stun? Yeah. Why can't I... Seriously, bro. Why can't I get the critical? Anyways, I got this thing down to like... Half HP, so... What I gotta do here is like not get one shot. That's like goal number one. It's way easier to do this on the horse. It's just... I didn't show the first part because this just takes a long ass time. Uh... And this is kind of all I'm doing. Okay, come on. Come on. There we go. If it one-shots me, I'm gonna be... So goddamn angry. Come on, just die. You have no HP left. Thank you. 3,000 souls. That was hella not worth it. And there's another one right there. 
I swear if these things respawn, I'm going to be so pissed. Well, no, I'm not going to be pissed. I'm going to be ignoring them. Okay, is that gonna kill? I think so, yeah. So yeah, that's just... Hmm. Trying it for the... Like, killing the second one was actually way, way easier. It's just... That is definitely not worth it for 3,400 souls, I think they give. Yeah, it's just... There's no way in hell the math works out on that. I think that's where we have to go. Like, I'm just going to be ignoring these things here because, again, just how long it takes to kill them. But I think that has to be that fortress or whatever we need to go to. Right? Which is like in the medallion description. Nice. So need to check how I'm doing on time but yeah I've died so many times I have so much shit to cut out that I'm not sure oh they have bears as well so we need to like go up here past the earth tree which is an actual earth tree earth tree not like a rotted mess oh we're back to these guys with significantly more HP Maybe I should look at my weapon upgrades in roundtable. If it isn't time. Oh yeah, by the way, listen, again. I try to avoid spoilers in the comments, which is not always possible, but... People said that weapons go up to plus 25 in this game, which is kind of redonkulous. I have no idea where they all keep appearing from. There's like more of them every second. Ha, can't catch me. But get bled. Guardian Sword Spear. I was just gonna say this might be, this is actually a pretty cool weapon that they have. This dagger might actually be... yeah. Again, yeah, this dagger might actually be way better against them. It looks like they're pretty easy to bleed. Yeah. It's, that's the attack. The jumping attack. I can do the same shit. Just don't get... Okay, it doesn't matter. Poison doesn't actually seem to do a lot in this game. The other status ailments seem way more dangerous. And actually... Don't I... Thought I had my poison stuff equipped. On my hotbar. Maybe I just removed it because... There wasn't any poison around yeah that's way talk about efficiency
So you have insane combos. Please, can I get? Can I just get an opening? Oh, I know what the solution might be against these guys. It's this, isn't it? No, because they have. Fuck. I'm really like I don't know if I'm under leveled or something, but this area I'm really disliking this area so far. Like everything is a fucking HP tank. Or deals massive damage. I don't know what's going on, man. But the, the, the thing is, the reason I'm like doubtful that I'm under leveled is that I've pretty much done everything up to this point. Like, I didn't just rush along the main quest or anything like that. Unless this game specifically expects you to. It's another one of. What the fuck? Unless this game specifically expects you to farm or something. At least they give you space here. Like, the the issue with the other one... Oh, oh, I was really worried for a second. So if the other one was like one-shotting me, this one... A million per... Yep, yeah, yeah, of course. I don't think I'm meant to be here. Like... Everything is just dealing so much damage. Like, this is where I get a little suspicious. Um, but then again, like, let me, let me read this. The right half is set to reside in Fort Ferroth in the Dragon Barrow far to the east. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna ignore everything and just run over there. If that's Fort Ferret, I might be a little bit screwed. Oh, this is a named dragon. Well, screw you, I'm just going to the fort. So excuse me. I see the side of grace, so you can just chill on the other side, thanks. And this is why... <laughs> this is why there are like sub-20 minute speedruns of this game. You just run past everything. Please don't be fort... Grayal or whatever, I already forgot the name. Fort Ferroth. Yeah. Ho oh, oh, ho, I'm not meant to be here. <laughs> Definitely not. That was just like a tiny little gnome. And it nearly one-shotted me. Yeah, okay. I am now 100% sure I'm not meant to be here. Like, did you see the damage values there? That is definitely a boss, isn't it? Black Blade Kindred. Uh oh. Please, is there an area description here? Oh, can I just. <laughs> Beast Chill. This is not it. Okay. The, but, but, okay. I'm happy though. I'm happy though because this is not where you're meant to go. Okay. I think I can... With sort of happiness, I can... I can end this episode because... Man, I was worried. I was like racking my brain. I was like, what part of the game did I skip that I'm like this week? Yeah, okay. So this is a way more advanced area, which... Fair enough game, I...
I got the message. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. This was a bit of a struggle episode, but, you know, I'm kind of like this. Uh, with Souls games, I have always been sort of stubborn. And I just go at it. And I, you're just not meant to go at it. But, you know, fair enough lesson that this game, probably because it's open world, takes the whole leveling and being at an appropriate level more seriously. Like I, It doesn't look like you can get away with being underleveled for an area in this game. Unless you're, like, super good or super OP. Like, in the other Souls games, you can get away with it. Um... But in this one doesn't appear so. Still, like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe, comment, turn on post notifications as always, and I will catch you next time. Peace out and goodbye.